From real wild animals, we're going to check out a far tamer crew of animals, the stars of Disney's The Lion King. The musical opened in Africa this week for the first time since debuting on Broadway nearly a decade ago. Paul Tilsley has the story from Johannesburg. The Lion King. He now lives in South Africa. But to hear the roar of this pride of Disney took 10 years of planning, millions of dollars in production costs, and the special construction of Africa's largest theater. Last August, we joined Lebo M, co-composer of the Lion King score and Johannesburg producer, on his first tour of the then shell of the theater. Nothing is as strong and significant as standing here at this very moment, knowing that I am part of this. This past week, we took that same walk again in the now complete stalls. I now have to live with this reality every day that the Lion King is not coming home. The Lion King is here. Backstage, Bui Sile Zama starts the two-hour process of transforming into Rafiki. This is the first production with an all South African cast on the continent that inspired the show. It's also the first time on stage for Soweto schoolboy Linda Dlamini, who plays Simba. But not so the show's Mufasa, who also took the role in London. Hey, for me, it's a circle of life. The thing that got me out of the country gets me back. <laughs> the role of Nala weighs heavily on solo fellow Manedi's shoulders. The whole world is looking at me and I'm also representing the pride of my country. So there's a lot of responsibility at that. Especially this week on opening night. This is perhaps Africa's biggest premiere all year. The African A-list, even the African-American A-list is here, including Oprah Winfrey. You know what? I wanted to be here flew all night to get here, just showered, uh, because I don't think there's gonna be anything like it. I think, you know, you can see it in LA, you can see it in New York. There's nothing like coming home. The Lion King was welcomed home with a standing ovation, a roar that metaphorically could be heard as far away as Broadway. Paul Tilsley, CNN, Johannesburg. I love The Lion King. I do my housework to The Lion King every Saturday after Inside Africa. And did you know that over the last 10 years, The Lion King has been seen by over 40 million people in nine countries? And that's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. But there's more to come next week, so please let Inside Africa be your window to the continent. I'm Femi OK. Until the next time, take care. Inside Africa.